Hi hey everybody, Steve Bergen here, and this is my doll and my friend Larry. And if you can do some math on his uniform number, you know that 3 plus 3 adds up to 6. Good, I heard somebody say that. So I'm going to use that 6 to teach you about the 6 inputs and outputs on the iPad. This is lesson 1, and we start from scratch. If you hold the iPad so that the button is on the bottom, we call that button the home button or the belly button. That's what one of our summer course schools call it, so I like it. The home button or the belly button. Very useful button that always bails you out of trouble and takes you back to the home screen. Okay, underneath the home button is a connector so that you can charge your iPad by taking one of the connectors and plugging it in depending on your model and you can get it, plug it in for electricity or you can plug it in for um, transfer to or from your computer. That's two on the bottom, two out of six. Home button or belly button bails you out of all trouble and the connector on the bottom. On the top there are two locations. One is easy and it's the speaker hole or speaker port where you can plug in a headphone jack so that you could listen without bothering people. Obviously that's important. And then the top, this has two different functions. It puts your iPad to sleep, but it also puts it and shuts the power off. So just pressing it once puts it to sleep. And then if you press it and hold it, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, you'll get a message on the top of the screen with that red arrow that says, do you want to shut it off? Okay. Now we've got 2 plus 2 makes 4. On the left-hand side, well, on your right, on your right hand side, sorry, when you turn it this way on the right hand side, there's two more that completes the six. This is a volume button that makes the volume louder or quieter. And this is a mute button that turns the sound completely off. And that's useful. However, we can make this button do something else using our skills. And that's part of this lesson for today. Right? Because what happens typically is the iPad, when you're holding it in front of students or a projector and you turn it sideways, it does the wobble. And it turns whatever is the display, right, this way or this way, wobbling. So here's what we're going to do using our skill of knowing that there are six different buttons and ports on the iPad. What we're going to do is we're going to program the side switch to do something different. Instead of being a mute, it's going to be lock the orientation. How do we do that? We get control of the computer. We go to settings, which I consider one of my most important things. And the settings I have as one of my six icons on the bottom in the dock. You see right where my finger is pointing? I have six. You may only have three or four. You should put more there. Settings should be there and cameras should be there. So I'm going to click on settings, right? And once I'm into settings, I'm going to click on general. So now you can see it says settings and it says general. And right where I'm about to point with my finger, right, there's something right over there that says lock rotation. Let me get it so you can get a quick look at it. Lock rotation. Lock rotation. If you click on where it says lock rotation, it doesn't automatically lock. What it does is it makes the side switch be the locker. Now, if I go and I turn my side switch so that it's on, now when I take my iPad and I turn it sideways, hard to hold this backwards for the camera, do you see how nothing changes because it's been locked? So the side switch, which is one of the six buttons we talked about, is now not muting, but what it's doing is locking the orientation. So now we have two meanings of the word six. And Larry wants to say goodbye to you because three plus three makes six. Two meanings. Let's review. The side switch does a mute. But if you use settings, the side switch can be used to lock the orientation. 
side switch, volume switch, power switch, speaker, belly button or home button, and the power cable. You got it? Please do it yourself. Make sure that you make the side switch, do the locking, so you've got that skill. Lots more coming in the next few videos. Thanks.